Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT The Game Season 3, Episode 17. We are just two episodes away from NXT TakeOver SoCal, and let's get straight into the action. Alright, to open the show, Renee Young says, Welcome to NXT. Tonight, we're going to have the debut of TM61, Nick Miller, and Shane Thorne when they go face-to-face -face with the Kingdom. We're going to have the main event we've all been waiting three weeks in the making for when Enzo Amore teams up with the man who's defied and for been forgotten by Gravity Neville to take on Finn Balor in the Miz, but tonight we're going to start it off with the 10-man over-the-top rope NXT Battle Royal to determine the number one contender to Sami Zayn's NXT Heavyweight Championship and decide who will face him at NXT TakeOver SoCal. Corey Graves, breathe woman, says jo Graves jokingly. It's going to be an amazing night here at NXT. The matches are set. The fans are ready. Let's get straight into the Battle Royal. The fans are cheering and chanting as the wrestlers are starting to fill up the ring. All right, and the match has some good action, but not, uh, excuse me, some good action. Average heat. Scott Steiner won a battle royal in 15 minutes. The other members of the final four were Mr. WWE, Apollo Crews, and Hideo Itami. With Mr. WWE being the final elimination, Scott Steiner got the most eliminations over the course of the match. And Big Papa Pump, the big bad booty daddy, Freakzilla, out of nowhere last week, has came into NXT, taken it by storm, somehow weaseled his way into the 10 man over the top rope. NXT. Number one contendership for Sami Zayn's championship battle royal, and we'll be facing Sami Zayn at NXT Takeover SoCal. And you guys know, you guys know me. I don't do this. I don't just grab people and put them into main event spots. So this is kind of a unique thing, you know. We're gonna go with Scott Steiner, and you know, kind of spoiler alert, feed him to Sami a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe maybe not. Who knows? But Scott Steiner has made his debut here in NXT, and he is definitely after that heavyweight championship. As Big Papa's come to Scott Center, standing in the ring, having just won the NXT Heavyweight Championship Battle Royal to take Sami Zayn, the entire arena is booing him. Corey Graves says, I know the phrase, anything can happen, but what on earth just happened here in NXT over the last two weeks? Scott Steiner, he's 54 years old. The big bad booty daddy, really? Steiner's music blares as he flexes, leaving the arena in shock. He's become the new NXT number one contender. All right, the camera finds Enzo Amore backstage with Neville. Tonight, ladies, Enzo and his new best friend and Neville are going to go... Uh, excuse me. Tonight, ladies, Enzo and his new best friend Neville are going to go step through those ropes two weeks before the NXT TakeOver SoCal pay-per-view event and take uh, all the haters out. Neville says the amount of gravity that's going to be forgotten tonight as Neville is going to be epic. Prepare to lose, Balor. Enzo Amore. What the guy who flies says. Tonight, Miz, tonight, Balor, be ready because Enzo and Neville are going to beat your ass in the middle of that ring. Enzo just smirks as Neville looks at him. How you doing? Neville walks away. Enzo nods, laughing. How you doing? We fade out. Enzo and Neville tonight take it on Balor and The Miz. All right, the camera now is seen backstage with the Balor Club, Finn, Doc, and the Young Bucks, all of whom are arguing again for the fifth week in a row. This has been going on for weeks now. Balor pissed off with Doc losing in the Battle Royal. Balor storms off left, Doc to the right, and the Young Bucks are the duo just looking, just befuddled at what's going on. All right, hype matchup because Bailey and Maria tonight go one on one. But in the next match, and about that featured great action, but not on the much way feet. TM61 defeats the Kingdom in eight minutes when Nick Miller defeats Matt Taven by pinfall with a shooting star press. TM61, Nick Miller, and Shane Thorne get the victory over Matt Taven and Mike Bennett. After the match, Nick. <clears throat> after the match, Mick, uh, blah, blah, blah. After the match, Nick Miller and Shane Thorne are celebrating the ring as the Kingdom just looks on. TM61 could be heard screaming, "We want American Alpha!" over and over again as we fade. Maria has to get ready because she's fighting Bailey coming up soon. All right, in an extremely short match, Bailey makes her way down to the ring and beats Maria in three minutes with the Rose Plant. The Kingdom are getting jobbed out here; their contracts are expiring. They will not be being renewed. So another victory for Bailey here. She's just you know the NXT Women's Heavyweight Champion, and nothing else is going on for her right now other than uh. You know, just sitting there and, and, and basically, you know, get a victory here tonight over Maria. Now we shift backstage again. For the first time in a long time, we see Tom Phillips as he runs up to Scott Steiner. Tom Phillips of Scott says Phillips as he puts his arm around. Uh, Scott says Phillips as he puts his arm on the Steiner to stop him. Scott Steiner, if you have a question to ask me, Jack, then get to it. But don't you dare put your arms around on the baddest man on the planet. To the point, says Tom. When did you sign an XT and what? Look, you stupid idiot. Let me stop you right there. Me and we're gonna go, we go way back. Did you know what I was gonna take out and say? No, but that's because he's a moron. Scott Steiner does what Scott Steiner wants to do when he wants to do, and Scott Steiner wants the NXT Heavyweight Championship and NXT TakeOver SoCal. Scott Steiner, he's getting it. Scott Steiner walks away, leaving Tom Pellis befuddled as we fade. Scott Steiner, as you heard, talk about Scott Steiner. He wants that title, and he will be facing Sami Zayn at NXT TakeOver SoCal in just a couple weeks. Now we see Bailey talking to Candice LeRae about the NXT Women's Money in the Bank match at NXT TakeOver SoCal coming up in just two weeks. 
Also, next week, The Miz returns to action. While he is in the main event, it should have said returns to singles action. Next week on NXT, on the Go Home Show before NXT TakeOver SoCal, we are going to see Sami Zayn, the NXT Heavyweight Champion, team up with Samoa Joe, the Samoan Submission Machine, to take on Kevin Owens of Manifest Destiny and the new number one contender, Scott Steiner. But in the main event, and about that featured great action and average heat, Enzo Amore and Neville Drew with The Miz and Finn Balor in 13 minutes, felling a double count out. Uh, Enzo Amore and Neville showed great chemistry. Team together, that's great. Um, they don't work, that sucks. But Neville and Amore, that's something to look forward to maybe in the future. Um, anyways, this was NXT The Game Season 3, Episode 17. Um, thank you for watching. There's no specific comments. It's 70, so good to see that our ratings are back up. Um, well, you know, thanks for watching. We'll have 18 for you uh, in a couple days, and then we'll get right into NXT TakeOver uh, SoCal. Thanks for watching, everyone.